All right, um, we're looking at the trucks, All-American Company, reapplication of trucks to the locomotive. Any of the previous mentioned methods of truck removal can be employed and reapplied in the following sequence of procedures. Fill the load pan oil, fill the loading pan oil pan oil to the level of the filling hole swivel bolt approximately one half an inch over the horizontal liner. Push it in the trucks and so the swivel bolt and loading pans of the line up in the matching equipment on the locomotive train. The loading pans on the both front and rear trucks are always in toward the center of the locomotive. Either by lowering the locomotive on the truck of the trucks or by raising the truck to the locomotive. Um, carefully guide the swivel plates, loading the plant, plant pads in position before the cab is completely in position. See that the loading pad cover slots are correctly positioned in relation to the relating, uh, retaining lugs on the truck truck pan. Reassembly safety hooks on at the bottom of the swivel plate transom on each side of uh, on each one on each side inner transom. Check oil seal on uh, swivel bowls and loading pans. Reconnect traction motor leads leads and generator leads of the locomotive frame. Reconnect the brake pin pipe hosing handbrake chain sanders. Read adjust the brakes um, and see foundation brakes. Remove all the ta tags and rag ra rags blocking equipment that may have be may be on, tr on the truck or chassis. All right. Um, symptom: cold spring snobbers. Description: the sim the Symington type S truck si um, spring snobber. Figure 17 provides constant friction for the control of the spring group. The friction being generated with the friction shoes rubbing up and down inside the friction sleeve it is in constant control, with the prevents the harmonic action of the spring group with the stopping and the bouncing. Eliminating oversized bowl, um, blows. Um, the snubber is the simple construction compromising low carbon case hardened steel sleeve to, in which the welded forged steel ca cap at the bottom ring of the three alloy steel friction shoes held in assembly with the sleeve by the six pre compressed friction shoe springs, which are equally spaced vertically and rad rad radially in any outer or coil spring. The outer spring is in relatively high capacity with the, so that the snubber unit may be substituted from one or the coil springs in a coil, coil snubber group and still maintain the desired importing capacity of the group as a whole. All right, figure 617 shows the symptoms at type S, uh, Symington type S spring snubber. Operating and lubrication of the snobber ship from the factory is complete unit when applied with the locomotive of the truck. The snobber unit ordinarily replaces the inner coil with a double coil group. No lubrication should be um, applied with the snubber unit. Each of the three shoes used in its assembly heads lead inserted with the outside surface friction sleeve as the insert with the lead in inside the diameter near the open end. These lead inserts provided with the dry um, lubricant, with it, which is an ample to ensure against any of the tendency galling between the friction surface of the on the shoe sleeve. Periodic maintenance. The surface life of this number is um, such that it should require the very little attention before the locomotive trucks are scheduled for the general overhaul. At the time of the unit should be examined carefully, and if all the matter parts are held tightly in the unit, no repairs are necessary. If the friction shoes are loose in the sleeve, the unit should be disassembled and new parts are added when nece where necessary. All right, overall, to disassemble the Symington snubber home file, the procedures are shown in figure 20. Press the equivalent of that shown in figure 21. Dismantling head and two cleats are required. After disassembling the check of the inside diamond of the friction sleeve with a, with a no go gauge, or figure 18, check the thickness of the friction shoes with, with the no go gauge. Figure 19, replace the wor worn or broken parts. All right, to assemble this number file with the procedure indicated with the figure 21 through 29, figure 26 sub-assembly compromising three friction shoe, three friction shoe spring, three shoe friction spring shims, and one friction shoe ring. In addition with the fring, um, friction shoe ring, it is will be noted that the wire band of the 12, number 12 iron rod wire is used to hold the assembly in alignment. This wire band must be removed after the sub-assembly has been entered into the friction sleeve. See figure 28 with the number corrected. should um, be compromised several times to check the operation. See figure 29. All right, this is your figure 18 um, sleeve or no-go gauge. Um, it's uh, it's basically a little piston um, compressor thing. Your shoe no gauge uh, shows your. Um, this is uh, all right. You have your dismantling cleats, your dismantling head. Um, a six-stroke capacity air pressure air cylinder, 10-inch bore, 24-stroke carbon Ar Arbon press model number. All right, these are uh, dismantling cleats, sn snubber coil spring sleeve sh shoes, friction shoes, friction springs, friction sleeve. Um, one, two, three, and four. 
Our compressed number, um, number coil springs to solids for the um, causing the chute to be exposed. Insert dismantling cleats as shown. Release the number coils to the free um, height. Dismantling cleats will engage the chute to force the shoes in the upper in the sleeve. Um, again, compress the number coil spring to allow the dismantling cleats to be removed in reverse as shown. And four, again, um, release the coil spring to dismantle the cleats and engage the shoe through forcing shoes up and out of the sleeve. This shoe, the show is the completely out of the sleeve rubber, or move the snubber from the machine. The shoes can be tapped on loose with a hammer. All right, figure 21 shows your snubber, snubber disassembled. Um, figure 22 shows the friction shoes and the spring snubbers. Figure 23 shows the piston. Um, Position the friction shoes and springs in the shim. Figure 24 shows the friction unit position for the application of the fri friction shoe ring. Um, figure 25 shows the friction unit complete with the ring and the wire band assembly picture. Figure 26 shows the friction unit complete with the ready and assembly for the friction sleeve and the coil spring. Figure 27, all parts of the position p p piston um, for final assembly. 28, removing the wire holding band um, before compressing snobber. 29, assembling the complete compressed snobber number of times to checking the operation. All right, your 2250 road switcher, six wheel, three motor truck. Uh,